guys, welcome to today. I'm outside with Gabby because she's the only one up. It is 9 a.m. and so he is still sleeping. And it snowed. Boy, did it snow. The girls at the barn already messaged me on Snapchat. They were like, come on, let's go riding. It's so nice out, meaning it's minus 10. And unfortunately, we have school. Even though everybody else in the city is off school, we have school, huh? Good morning. Did you have a good sleep? Yeah. What'd you dream? I forget. You forget? Last night I dreamed that we lived in such a huge, amazing farm and the house was beautiful. And I dreamed that we had twins. We had twins and they had this really pretty nursery and I loved it. Cool. Isn't that a weird dream for me? Yeah. Are you ready to start school? No. So uh, the girls got computers for Christmas and the point was for them to be able to use them for school instead of using Sam and my computer for school. So I still haven't set all their computer programs up on it, but Gabby did hers. Gabby, yeah, Gabby did all hers this morning. She's like, okay, I'm gonna put on my programs. She just knows what to do. I'm considering moving my computer into the dining room because then I could get work done while they're getting work done and then I'd be here really close to help and I think that's a good idea. What do you guys think? I just, I feel nervous because I don't want to do something that I'm not going to like and then have to change it all back. But this desk has been such a huge mess for so long and I hate it and I just think that, imagine if we moved a smaller desk here and then Sam had just this for his computer. I'm going to do it, you guys. That's just the way I roll. I just make decisions, change everything around and then Sam comes home from work and is like, oh man, what are you doing? Let's talk bunnies. A lot of you guys hated our bunny jumping video. We were so super gentle when we were leaving them on the harness, on the harnesses. Some of them look like, I don't know. Anyway, obviously we're not gonna do it that way again. We're gonna be, uh, take the slow road, just take our time and teach them to jump. And probably they won't even be able to jump till summer when we can actually get outside and really work with them, huh? Yeah, I remember taking a white bunny on a harness outside at our old house when I was really young. Yeah, so we're gonna just be working with our bunnies like crazy. Anyway, um. Gabby has a video up on her channel right now and she did a new bunny house tour because we changed everything around again. Remember I showed you guys the last time we had two different pens for the bunnies? Well, everybody told us they won't stay apart and sure enough, the morning after we separated them, we came to, we came in to fix their water and a boy oh bunny, a boy bunny hopped over one fence on, onto the ground and then hopped in to the other pen. So yeah, which was Sophie's bunny. So basically, and then we moved them back and then a couple hours later when we came to check, he was back in there with the girl. So uh, we're working on that situation. So right now they're all together just to keep everybody safe. Having the bunnies has been a lot more work than I thought that it was going to be. A lot of trying to figure out how we're going to keep them and how to make everything the way that I wanted. And it's been so rewarding. Like I could sit here on this little step in the sunroom and stare at them playing all the time. They just look so regal and so beautiful. Like my little girl Daisy. She's so pretty you guys. Honestly, I feel like they're happy. I feel like watching them out here playing and being together, they seem really happy. Anyway, we have lost a bunny. We have officially lost a bunny. Aha, uh -huh. he's behind this bag of dog food in the kitchen. He was on his back like this. I'm like, what are 
are you doing? Are you dead? And I moved the dog food bag and he went. Oh, well, I'm so glad you're not dead. And you can see. No, that's a Sophie's. Oh. Um, Sophie's Benny's been running around with his harness on so he can get used to it. Right? Are you getting used to it? Look at his face is healing up. He's like, he's dirty. The bunny's like, I don't really know that boy. He didn't really know you. You're okay. Okay. The bunnies are actually getting pretty acquainted with the puppies. He's like, I'm not. Get me out of here. My bunny's always around the puppies. <coughs> Look, my dog loves me. Yeah, your dog does love you. We are headed to the barn, and I uh, just remembered that I wanted to tell Sam that I thought I'd tell you guys at the same time. I called the vet today to um, see how much it was going to cost to book our bunnies in to get them neutered. So our vet that takes care of Sabrina wants $298 to get a bunny neutered. One bunny neutered. One bunny. $298. And my, oh, and there's a $79 fee on top of that. So, yeah. Then our vet, the one that we use all the time for our pets, costs $150. $150 for one bunny. And then I called another vet just to double check and see what, what the competition is, is like. I just called, decided to call three. It's hard to find vets that actually do bunnies. And the third bunny was $210. Big difference though. Where we live, vets aren't regulated. They can pretty much charge whatever they want. Same with dentists here. It is lesson time again. I am excited. I think Fiona's probably down at the barn. Go ahead. See who's riding first. Uh, All right. No. What do we have here? I'm on We're both on Sabrina. No, you're you're both on Sabrina. Let's go get uh. her. out here. Oh, I need it. No, I'm doing Sabrina. You're doing Spencer. I don't know how to do Spencer. I've never done Spencer. Which color is Spencer? Green. Okay, there's like three greens. She's always so excited when she sees us that she pees. Better out here than in the stall. Hi, honey. Wait, let's see if she comes to us. Hi. Yeah. She's like... Oh, she's licking her lips. She's like, those are the people that feed me. Oh, you're all wet. Poor girl. You're not coming. Could you get Spencer, she asks me. Sure, I can get Spencer. Spencer, I'm coming up. Spencer, I'm behind you. Do you want to come on out? Because there's no way. Spencer. Spencer. Come on, Spencer. You know what? Spencer doesn't like the rain and getting wet. This is a perfect little spot for him. Okay, you get him. Oh, do you know what Sabrina smells like and looks like? I just what washed my coat. Those horses that pull the wagons. Oh. The wagon ride horses. Okay, here. She looks and smells like them. Yeah. You're pretty dirty. Oh, are you miserable? You're all wet. He just looked away for a second and he's gone. Come on. Oh, he's a, such a crazy boy. There's Blue. Can you get him? There he is.
Shift your saddle to the right. Okay. Just take your feet out. They take me for a runaway. I guess I'm a little torn. My life is on the highway. My song's on the radio. I cannot deny. I love being wild. And when the lights out, I'm moving on. I cannot deny. I aim for the sky. So when the
is gorgeous outside, you guys. All the snow, you guys probably, I wasn't vlogging, but all the snow on top of the roof slid to the ground. It sounded like an avalanche and all the horses were crazy. Hi guys, we are back from the barn and we're just chilling. Chilling on on my computer. The computer. Anyways, don't forget to watch Gabby's new video. It's up on your channel, right? Yep, my oh. bunny room tour. Bunny room tour should be exciting. Anyways, we're gonna do two comments of the day today before we end it. And the first one, the first one is from Rosie Posey. And she says, wait, does Gabby prefer Spencer to Blue or Blue to Spencer? Or does she just love Blue Spencer and of course Sabrina? All three of them. You like all three of them? Which one do you prefer the best? Sabrina, because she's my horse. Okay, Sabrina, but... Um, Out of blue or I Spencer? I think you like Spencer. Spencer more Spencer. than blue. Yeah. yeah. And the next question goes to Aspen63610. And she says, she's not spooking. She's trying to get out of work. You need to keep her even between your legs and hands. Squeeze her forward if she diverts. Make her go right back around and do it again. Don't let her get away with it. Always end on a good note. Whether it's a lesson or fun riding, she needs to know you're in charge. And we learned today that that's what she does, right? She tries to get out of work. I know all the time. So what she does is she, she tries to go a little bit faster. She goes to, yeah, right. and yesterday she kept on trying to go around the second pole, around the skinny pole. She can tell if you if there's a confident rider on her and she will go a little bit faster to avoid doing the pole work. But if you're a confident rider on her, like today, right? She went right over those poles really easily, didn't she? Yeah. So that's what we learned today. She try she does try and get out of the work and we are going to remember when we practice with her on the weekends or whatever night we practice with her on we are going to make sure she goes over it properly. Yeah. Right. Anyways, that's it for tonight. We're going to end today's vlog and we will see you tomorrow. Bye. Bye. And don't forget to make sure to hit that subscribe button down below.